Yo, what's up, guys? We got some questions. Um, the first one coming in from um, a, an account by Vince Trujillo. So that's um, Teo Trujillo. He's in our program. All right, Teo's, um, Teo has a three-part question. So it goes, if you could teach something other than basketball, what would it be? Um, I believe that I would definitely be geared toward teaching, but it wouldn't be something about school. It would just be something about my life, probably, because um, the way that I'm set up is that um, I do fairly well when I'm speaking to other people in terms of helping their life out. It's kind of like um, how we're all made for something, and that happens to be my something. So it would definitely be teaching and if i had to teach something else i don't know if i know anything else man <laughs> um huh what else am i good at i really don't know maybe um how to be happy i would be some kind of like guru or something like that that would just tell people to like focus on themselves and others and the happiness in the world or something like that just because i believe that um, happiness comes easy for me and i know that um for other people it just doesn't come as easily for them so yeah i would be a guru <laughs> Uh, let me see. Question number two is, if everybody actually came to every practice, even when you add the two extra and extra hour, pretty unlikely, what would you add to the schedule so everyone really felt like the time they put in was worth it? Okay, so now that's a tricky question because what we have in our book is basically all that you really need, especially when you add the homework on top of that, when you do it before the workout and after the workout and the challenges that we have and everything like that, that's all that you really need. But to make you feel that it was worth it is the key piece in that question. I can't make you feel that it's worth it, all right? Um, it's, it's gonna take years because you're not gonna really see the results until years pass by. So it's kind of an odd, odd thing. Unless you're a really smart kid and you can understand that it's the hard work that mattered in the first place because I can provide you guys with like compliments or maybe like trophies or maybe like clout via um, highlight videos and things like that. Maybe just, just like more applause um, or even like in, during the games when you actually score more points. But not all of that stuff is temporary and only you can provide yourself a true level of happiness. See, I'm a happiness guru, told you. <laughs> so yeah, um, you will never feel as though it's as though it's worth it until you decide that you've tried your hardest, I believe, all right? Um, when you try your hardest, that's all that matters. So there's nothing that I can really do besides provide you guys with perspective and an open gym and a curriculum. So that's what I've done. And I believe that the rest is kind of just up to you guys and to each their own because I mean, you'll get three different people doing the same exact thing with the same exact outcome in the world. One person will hate their life because of that thing. One person will overcome the challenges and constantly get through that same exact thing and think that they've done so much. While the third person is just happy and who cares, right? So it's not really up to the circumstances. It's up to each person. Um, the third question, um, how would you suggest I can get better at finishing around the rim? All right, um, finishing around the rim, it is a very, very key piece. It doesn't matter how tall you are, how short you are, whatever, because Tony, Tony Parker scored 80% of his points inside the key during one season. I mean, that's crazy, right? Kyrie Irving is one of the best finishers of all time. So I would go by Kyrie Irving. Uh, he says that um, all he does is do the um, the mic in drills, the, the, the mic in and the reverse mic in drills that we have in our catalog of workouts. But he does them a little bit differently. He will shoot with his right hand off of his left leg and his left hand off of his right leg just like we do for all four but he'll switch it up so instead of just doing the front mic in with the left hand off the right leg he'll do it off the right leg with the right hand on that same side and then he'll also do it from that same side with the left hand off the left leg so for each one that we know of with the right hand mic in, left hand mic in, right hand reverse mic in, left hand reverse mic in. He adds four to each and every single slot. So there's 16 different workouts. So 
So you can check it out online if you don't understand it. But um, we might have some kid do it actually too, um, just to show you guys what it's all about. Um, I've never done that, but I do know that he's one of the best finishers of all time. So that might be a fantastic way to become a great finisher. I know that you're a very bold player, Teo. Um, I think that being brave is part of it. And um, just getting up the reps is another part of it. And then um, getting a good grip on the ball is also a part of it too. So um, keep your eyes on the rim, keep your eyes on the prize, and you'll get there. Anyways, I hope that I answered your question. If any of you guys have any questions, anytime, just let me know by commenting on any of our videos, and I promise I will get around to it eventually. Okay? Ask any question that you want, and we're here for you any time of day. All right, you guys. Talk to y'all later. Peace.